Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, I want to share a quick video with you tonight and it's quite late, it's about um, quarter past midnight um, but the reason I'm doing it so late is because we're having a family barbecue tomorrow for my son's birthday, his birthday's on Monday it is actually Sunday now because it's after midnight but <clears throat> So we're having a, a family barbecue Sunday for his birthday and um, I'm not going to have time in the morning because I've got loads to do and it's super hot here at the moment, really, really hot for the UK. So um, I'm in my PJs, I've got my dressing gown on. <laughs> um, but I wanted to um, share these with you. Um, before next week so I'm going to go ahead and film this so um, the lovely sweet Roseanne who is Roxy Car 11 sent me this and I absolutely fell in love with it I adore it it is just stunning absolutely and I was so inspired by this I haven't done anything quite you know like with all the um, mix of colours but I did um, do a few of these pockets I'm just going to show you this so actually I went to a charity shop and I found some children's shorts and they're like for 10 to 11 year olds but they're like a pound each and I just cut the pockets out. <laughs> so, um, and I also found a skirt, and I did have a pair of jeans in my wardrobe that I knew uh, they were painting jeans. So I knew I was going to throw them out, so I also took the pockets off those. So I have six pockets to share with you. Um, they're very different to this in the sense that. <clears throat> they are colour themed but not a mix of colour like this because I'm not that brave yet <laughs> I just have to say that <laughs> um, but thank you so much Roseanne for the inspiration I absolutely love this I've been showing everybody and my gypsy book um, but I have been showing everyone <laughs> because I've been so inspired. Sorry, somebody's walking past the house singing. <laughs> I was just listening to it. Okay, so. Okay, the first one I'm gonna show you is kind of like a tea dyed thing. Uh, so this is the first one here. Now, this lace here was from um, Roseanne. She put it in the oh. book. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. She put it in the caramel and inspiration kit. So I took this beautiful. Um, what you call it? Oh, corded lace out of there, and also a sequined flower was out of there. Um, the beaded flower is a um, Wild Rocker Crafts, and oh, I've got blue strings. I knew I should have. Um, heated them up before I showed them. Uh, so I've got the beaded uh, corded lace. I have a doily with the sequin flower, with the beaded flower. This uh, lace is from my stash. There is a doily under here as well. So it's quite a big pocket. 
as you can see. So if I show you those sands, an example, it's quite a bit smaller. <coughs> Sorry, the um, really hot weather, the dry air is <coughs> playing havoc with my um, throat. And on the back of this, I didn't do much. I just carried the lace over and also the doily and then added added this um, scallop here. So that's the back. So I was super thrilled how that turned out. I love these. I absolutely love them. Okay, the next one is a pink theme and it's avocado dyed lace which you seen a couple of weeks ago I did a load of lace with the avocado dye so this is actually the front <clears throat> and you can see the difference in the denim this lace actually is from my sweet friend Shilpa. Hi Shilpa. I can see glue strings. Sorry. Okay. So I did put a few dangles on this one. And that actually is the front, but actually the back I done a little bit more embellishing on on this one. So I actually have a flower on the back of this one and lots of lace and yumminess and again it's quite a big pocket. side I will show you them all together at the end okay the next one is a lot less embellished and the reason for that is I just love the lace that was on here and I didn't want to um, overdo this one I just wanted it to be quite simple So, actually, this lace um, my hubby bought me, and he chose it himself, <laughs> and it's beautiful. So I just had this going up the side, across the top, a little corner piece here, and it carries over onto the back. So quite a simple one here. But I think the white on the dark denim is really, really stunning. So that's why I wanted to keep that one quite simple. Okay. The next one is green. <laughs> Let me make sure I've got no glue strings on this one. I'm sure there are because I've just finished them and I wanted to share them. Okay, so this is the front and this one is quite dimensional if I show you. Um, so I've got a cluster of flowers here in the greens. And you can see they are quite dimensional. And most of this, apart from this flower, which I'll show you in a moment, is uh, the green lace that I dyed. So that's the front. And the back looks like this. Actually, if I do that... So that's the back, 
and that's the front. So everything apart from the base of this flower is the green lace that I dyed and this flower is actually made from this trim and I don't know if you've seen it but I keep coming across it on eBay and so I bought a few so I bought the green I bought the pink well this is a baby pink but actually it's quite bright for me if I show you it against the avocado dye you'll see it's quite a bright pink um, and I also bought a cream but to me it looks a little bit yellow but maybe not so much on camera but it is mm, it is quite yellowy and this is actually quite cheap on um, eBay and I just cut them out and made the flowers out of those okay so that's the green one which I love because I absolutely love this cluster so much then the next one is blue so this is the blue pocket so that's the front again a dangle lace a butterfly this is like a piece of vintage uh, collar that I dyed I will tell you about this dye in a second if I just show you the back so on the back you can see that I do have some dangles and then two laces here. Okay, so this weekend I have actually been dyeing laces as well. And I will share uh, probably a photo video with some pictures of the laces. And this colour dye is the china blue and again it did give a variety of colours depending on the fabric of the lace but I love love the colour of this So that's the blue. And the final one is lilac. And lilac always makes me think of Maggie. Hi Maggie. Because I know that's, well, purples, lilacs um, are her favourite colour. I can see a glue string. Okay, so this is the lilac and again I dyed all these laces this weekend and these are from the French Lavender and again it gave from quite a deep lavender to a light so that's the front I'm hoping these show up the colours And this is the back. And I just love these. What a great idea for a gift bag, isn't it? So if I just zoom out, that's as far as I can go. So that's the lavender. the blue so you can see that the different tones 
I can see me making a lot of these, an awful lot of them because they're so fun to do. That's the green. Actually, do you know what? The back of this one's better than the front, but I don't mind. That's the pink. Um, this is the tea dyed colour one. And this is the white. So I hope that you're as inspired as I was by Roseanne's um, pocket. I absolutely love it so much. And you can see these are quite a bit bigger than the size of this pocket. I wonder if this was off a jacket actually. Kind of looks like, you know, the um, top pocket off a denim jacket. I wonder. So that's my denim um, pockets. I really hope you like them and let me know what you think and I hope I've done enough variety that you can um, see the different amounts of embellishing and colours and uh, all the different styles that you can do. How great. I'm just in love with these. I can see them being all over YouTube sometime very soon. <laughs> okay, so that's me for this week and hopefully I will be back with another video sometime next week, depending how everything goes this week. Um, I will try and put a picture video together with the, the lavender and the blue and a few other things. Uh, somebody's asked me about all the furniture I did with the decoupage so I might try and find the photographs um, when when I um, did them I took photographs so I might add them there's a few other projects I've done that I might um, try and add as well so thank you for watching and I will speak to you all soon bye for now